Hello, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to graph a logarithmic function. The function we're going to graph today is g of x is equal to log base 2 of x. Okay. Now this is the inverse function of f of x equals 2 to the x power, which we'll have in another video. Well, again, with graphing, I like to make a table. I have my x in f of, or g of x in this case. Uh, x g of x, and I start plugging in values. Well, I know if I plug it in, x equals um, if x is one half, okay, my output becomes a negative one. And if you don't know the relationship between logarithmic and exponential functions at this moment, your calculator can suffice to get these data points to hopefully help understand what this graph does. And soon, hopefully, you'll understand the relationship between exponential and logarithmic functions. Okay. Uh, if x is 1, I know I have a 0. If x is 2, I have a 1. And if x is 4, I have a 2. So if I want to graph this, okay, I'm going to graph it right here. I'm going to have more of a vertical line here on the g of x axis. And I'm going to put my f of x, or my x axis right here. Okay? So notice my x values. Well, let's go. We'll go 1 through 4 here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. And my height values goes from, at least what I have here, from negative 1 to positive 2. So let's go put negative 1 right here, and we have 1 and 2, right there, okay. So let's go plot some points, so I'm going to graph this in the pink. Okay, let's go plot our points we have here from our table. Okay, when x is one half, halfway in between, I have a negative one right there. When x is one, I have a zero. And when x is two, I have a one. And when x is four, I have a two. And what we see here with our graph, and it comes up, curls around. It keeps increasing here. Okay, let me go down here. Now it doesn't actually hit um, the y-axis or the g of x axis. All right, these these two parts do not reach. They're not hit. There is what we call a vertical asymptote going on here on g of x. Okay. Now again, I don't have it right on g of x, but I have it right to the right just so you can see it. But it is right on g of x. Okay, so let's go analyze uh, this graph here. Our g of x equals log base two of x. Well, what we know is our domain, right? Our domain is the most left x value, or the most negative x value, to always the most right x value. Well, we notice that this function keeps going down, 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 down. Doesn't equal g of x, but it gets or equals zero, but it gets very, very close. All right, it gets every value just to the right of that. So our domain is zero, but not including zero, and it goes all the way to positive infinity. Our range, okay, our range of this function, the lowest possible value, well that's the lowest part on g of x is easy, that's negative infinity. And what's difficult to maybe see right here is this, the height, where it keeps going. And this function actually keeps on increasing all the way to positive infinity, okay, positive infinity. Now we have an asymptote here, our asymptote, We have a vertical asymptote, and that equation, if it's a vertical line, it's just x equals wherever it crosses the x-axis, in this case, it's zero, x equals zero. And our y-intercept, or sorry, our x-intercept, our x-intercept happens at uh, one, one comma zero. All right, x equals one, and it writes it, uh, it's right there. You don't necessarily always have to put the y value, because you know every x-intercept has the same y value, but it's good to put, the, put it there. And our y-intercept, well, that never occurs. It never crosses our y-axis. Never. Okay? Is this function increasing and decreasing? It is actually always increasing. I'll put it right here. Okay? So here again, we're graphing the log, uh, log base 2 of x. Uh, we started with just a table, and we, we see that our function uh, starts when x is 0, but not really at 0. We're, Right there, not including zero, 
all the way to positive infinity and it is always increasing, okay? Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit the like button that's right there. If you have a mathematical question, just add it to the comment section below. And lastly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit subscribe. It's right there. But as always, thanks for watching.